Hello Grade 7s and welcome back. Today we'll be doing active and passive voice. Let's start off with a bit of revision. We are first going to revise subject, verb and object and then move on. The subject is a personal thing performing an action. The verb is a doing word and an object is the personal thing receiving that action. Let's read the sentence and identify the subject, verb and object. Susan kicks the ball. Susan is the subject since she is performing the action. Kicks is the verb and the ball is the object since it's receiving the action. If I want to convert the sentence to the passive voice, I need only to switch the subject and the object while keeping the verb in the middle and turning it into the past participle. Let me show you. The ball now stands in front while Susan stands at the back. The verb remains in the middle and it's the past participle. The sentence reads the ball is kicked by Susan. Though we take the past participle, it does not mean that the sentence has changed in tense. The tense remained the same. The first sentence is in active voice, while the second sentence is in passive voice. You might wonder why sometimes we use active voice, while other times we use the passive voice, and that's to shift the focus. In the first sentence, the focus is on Susan since she's mentioned first. The second sentence, the focus is on the ball since the ball is mentioned first. Let's look at active and passive voice in the simple tense. The simple past tense. Sean fed the dog. Sean is my subject. Fed the verb. The dog the object. If I want to convert the sentence to the passive voice, I need only switch the subject and object. The dog was fed by Sean. Here the dog stands in the beginning, while Sean is at the end. Simple present tense. Shelley plays netball. Shelley is my subject. Plays the verb and netball the object. Again, I need only switch the subject and the object around. Netball is played by Shelley. Shelley now standing at the back, while Netball is at the head of the sentence. Simple future tense. Alex will clean the house. Alex is the subject. Clean the verb. The house is my object. I need only switch them around. The house will be cleaned by Alex. Alex now at the end of my sentence, while the house is at the start. If I should choose to switch the proper nouns with pronouns, it would look something like this. He fed the dog, and it then turns into the dog was fed by him. She plays netball. Netball is played by her. We will clean the house. The house will be cleaned by us. If we use pronouns, they switch from active to passive voice. Here, he turned into him, she to her, we to us, and they to them. Let's look at the continuous tense. Past continuous tense. Sean was feeding the dog. Sean, my subject, feeding the verb, the dog, the object. I just switch them around to get the passive voice. Sean being at the end of my sentence, the dog being at the start. With the continuous tense in passive voice, you will see that I added the word being so that the sentence reads the dog was being fed by Sean. Present continuous tense. Shelley is playing netball. Shelley, my subject, playing the verb, 
netball, the object. I need only switch them around. Again, I added the word being in the present continuous tense in the passive voice. Netball is being played by Shelley. With the future continuous tense, we rarely convert it into the passive voice. If I was to substitute all the proper nouns with pronouns, it would look something like this. He was feeding the dog. In passive voice, the dog was being fed by him. She is playing netball. Netball is being played by her. The pronouns switch in form in the passive voice. He becomes him, she, her, we, us, they, them. Where questions are concerned, the old conundrum of when to use who and when to use whom will be settled. Let's look at the question. Who wrote this book? Who is my subject? Wrote the verb and this book being my object. Instead of switching the subject and the object like we did previously, we are now going to switch around the verb and the object. So where the verb is now in the middle, it will switch to the back, written, and the object will precede the verb, meaning it will stand in front of the verb. Then, who, our subject, will turn into by whom. The passive voice of this question will then read, by whom was this book written? The rule of using whom is stated that when the object precedes the verb, in other words, when the object stands in front of the verb, we use whom instead of who. Please complete the worksheet that I've attached for this week and watch part two of this week's videos. Thank you and take care. Bye-bye.